Hey, 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 what's up, where else your boy G Trump, everybody, fake baby Danny, voice of the street, man. And today we in, we in Chicago, y'all, Brotherville Entertainment. We in the studio, y'all, but guess what? We in my living room. See, I just got dressed, we finna go out and cut a little rug, man. Yeah, uh, one of my people invited me to a stepper set. Grown folks sit so I had to put my, my bram on since they said they ain't gonna step. That's how the gangsters used to look, but the gangsters used to care like this, y'all. Oh, now nah, that's that. Yeah, that's how the gangsters used to care. Uh huh. But unfortunately, I'm not one of them, so my eyes look like it. Damn, it looked better like that. Shit, oh, shit. Oh my god, I must be dreaming if I think that shit grew up. That's how I'm rocking it, man. Yeah, so I'm waiting on my little ride, man. Some of the guys and uh, other people want to go out. So we going to cut a little rug and do what we do, y'all. I'm going to come back and let y'all know what's going on. I'm going to see how we do it. They uh, rented out the... Uh, it's a little banquet hall over there on Cottage Grove. Y'all probably been over there. It's a nice little setting up there. I've been over there before. I've been to... Uh, quite a few uh, spots over there, fathers. Uh, events at the same place I'm talking about. Find the body on. Yeah, I've met through quite a few events over here, y'all. So, uh, it's really a nice setting. And then it's grown folks. And you know, this is how you stay out of trouble. You party with your grown folks. Don't stay out too long, man. You know, don't stay out too long, man. I know what that is. That's my alert letting me know. I got some other shit broken, man. You know, I'll be working, y'all. And be trying. It feels good when you work for yourself, though, for real, for real. When you work for yourself, you can do what you want to do when you get ready to do it. And um, that's what it is. You know, you don't have to be on nobody's clock. Whenever you get ready, you do that. You know, and, uh, the key is just trying to be happy, y'all. Just try to be happy. It's all it is, trying to make yourself happy. If your woman or your man ain't making you happy, find somebody else who will. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? You can judge a person how you like them. Sometimes you don't know. You really like a person like that. Just start paying attention to them when they call. When the woman call you and you call her, she say, hey, how you doing? She like you. You know, but y'all been in a relationship a little while, you call her, hello? Hello. That mean that bitch is not excited about your call. You know, and you really can start judging people like that. And I pick up the phone with people I want to talk to, I be like, hey, how you doing? You know, what's going on, you know? If it's somebody that just, you know, like, hello, yeah, what's up? That's a red flag right there, and you really don't even know it. You know, it's damn near like your body language. Body language don't lie, y'all, and then your attitude don't lie either. When you're not even trying, you might not even be trying to show your attitude. Your emotions will show on its own. You feel me? I'm going to say that again. Your emotions will show on its own. And, you know, just ask, and it's good to ask somebody that's close to you or something. You know, when you somebody call you your girl, you see the front. <sighs> Hello. Who is that? That's your girl? Yeah, that's bitch, man. What up, Bray? What's going on? 
Yeah, alright, alright, that's a uh, big deal, damn. Alright. Then you got the new little chick when she called you. Hey, who is that? This this old guy I told you I met. Hello? Hey, babe. <laughs> Ask somebody that's watching you. Your co workers and everything, they'll tell you, so you like that little nigga down there on the third floor. No, no, that's my fan. He cool. No, oh, bitch. Every time that nigga come up here, you get the smiling and giggling when he talk. You talking to him, and then soon to find when get this your man. You just, yeah, hello, yeah, Tyrone. I'm gonna bring you some cigarettes. Damn, you don't have to keep calling me. I read the text, but you didn't call me back, bitch. You know, fellas, that's why women be wanting men to stand on their own. The best thing you could do in any relationship is have your own shit. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. The best thing you could do is any in any relationship is to have your own shit. Because they got to respect you a little bit more when you don't have to drive they fucking car. When you don't have to stay at they fucking apartment. And you got your own money. And you getting your own motion going. You don't need them. You might want them. But you don't need them. And then y'all can help each other. You know whatever y'all want to do together. Make plans and keep it moving. You know y'all might want to invest in something together. Like hey man let's build a, a building. Yeah let's start us a little real estate thing. We go buy a building, then we can buy another one, then we can buy another one, and y'all put that shit together, and that's how it be, y'all. You know, that's how it be. And keep it moving, man. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, fade baby daddy, what's the street? I'm gonna plant you and I dig you later, y'all. I'm out.